if I like go back 10 years, 20 years, uh, how even as recently as more as like three to five years, there's no way in hell you would ever convince me that I would would have gotten married in Mexico a couple of years ago. Um, no way in hell. It's like that sort of like going into the woods as a kid and never really knowing what the adventure is that you're going to have on that given day and what you might discover. Mexico felt like that on that trip. It was kind of the first time I ever felt like I was truly out on my out out on my own with somebody that really mattered. I never got to take a great trip like that with my mom who had always meant a lot to me. There was genuine moments where it felt like caution was thrown to the wind. Every Taking this trip is sort of like the final leap of confidence that I was prepared to enter adulthood and to like really accept the responsibilities that came with that. We've only been traveling to Mexico for the last 10 years, um, so it's definitely like a last third of life type experience. And um, so much of traveling down there has been a part of me getting over the death of my mom, part of the healing process. Um, my brother moved to New York. My my brother, my father, and I would take these trips down there. It'd be the only time I get to see the two of them, and it would be once every two years. So it was a really special experience in that end of itself. I didn't know my dad growing up for growing up very well, and I had a hard time relating to him. I think he had a hard time relating to me. And uh, it was the first time I actually like truly got to know my father and um, saw a lot of stuff about him or in himself that I didn't really like about myself that I saw myself kind of becoming. There was things that happened on that trip, moments of discovery that I hadn't kind of really felt since I was like a kid. You know when you're like a kid and you run into the woods blindly with a stick in hand and you start banging against the trees and you found like an abandoned silo that's like all made of concrete and you think it's the coolest shit ever. It's like this undiscovered fort, you lay claim to it. And everything from a uh, crazy mangrove tour that we took where we got bitten by mosquitoes. And Hi. River ride from hell. <laughs> Do you think that we have um, malaria? I hope not. And spent yeah, the we... whole day getting there, um, thinking that the ends would totally justify the means. And it ended up being one of those cases where the means was the end. I didn't know that at the time, but it was like the actual act of getting there and the act of getting back from there that was the most interesting really? and the best part about the whole thing. It just keeps getting smaller and smaller. It does keep getting... I think we're going to be on a bike path before too long here. That's cool. There was a night that we went to Mayan ruins and there was this light show and my fiance purchased um, the English transcription of the of the ceremony, um, which was in Spanish, and I did not, um, partly because I was kind of pissy as it, it was as expensive as it was and that it wasn't included in the entry fee. But you know what? That didn't really end up mattering that much because this, the, the sort of the light show was the least interesting part of it. For me, it was like entering that city and seeing the silhouettes of the buildings 
how you would just see this big void in the sky where there was tons of stars. You would just see this pyramid-shaped void, and you knew there was this huge, mammoth, massive structure in front of you. Knowing that you would never have been there under any other circumstances at Uchmal. You had never been at Uchmal under the circumstances that you had normally been traveling to Mexico with your brother and father because you would have been back in a hotel sleeping probably and you would have been going the next day because that's the way that you traveled down there. And my wife, fiance at the time, challenging me to do something a little different, of which she did many times on that trip. It means that I was like really willing to like let go and do something do something that I had done so many times just one way and do it totally new with somebody totally new and put enough confidence in myself and in this person that we could actually survive such a trip together. Getting in this relationship with her had felt like such a big part of like me growing up finally. Stunted, arrested development. 